coming at y'all with another video after a week hiatus. It feels good to be back, y'all. Had to take care of some things. So now your boy is back to deliver y'all some content. We got an interview going on with City Boy from the Black Soprano family tonight. Tune in 9 p.m., 6 Pacific, 8 Central Time. This is going to be a dope one. So let's get to it here. Now, I've been looking at a lot of these Instagram battles. Most notably, Teddy Riley and Babyface. I want to salute those brothers for setting the bar. For setting the bar on what this thing should really mean. And that's giving the people a history lesson of the content that they've been providing for the past 40 years in black music. Now, everybody wants to see now P. Diddy and Dr. Dre go at it. I don't think that's going to work because number one, their styles are too different and you're going to have a lot of coastal biasness going wrong because just like a lot of people on the East Coast, they didn't really like, they wouldn't really rock with a lot of West Coast music. You're going to have a lot of people on the West Coast, they ain't going to rock with a lot of East Coast music. So I would say we got to put Dre against somebody that I would consider his equal. And who would that be? DJ Quick. DJ Quick would be a perfect opponent to go against Dr. Dre in a possible Instagram beat battle. Because they're both from the West Coast. They both have equal respect. It would make the competitive nature of the West Coast pretty much more so fair. Because a lot of people, on the contrary... But they would say, a lot of people still in the West Coast don't like Puffy. So they're going to vote for Dre just for that. So with Quick and Dre, that's going to even the odds. And think about the unreleased stash of music that Quick and Dre have combined that we may be blessed with. Think about all the hits, the remixes, and all that that they've done. And one thing about for sure, see DJ Quick's music is so dope. He made you want to fly to L.A. And because you know you go to L.A., you're going to have a good time. Dr. Dre, on the other hand, his music made you want to stay the hell out of way from L.A. Because of if the police, gangster, gangster, all the gang ties going on. Nobody wanted to go to L.A. at that time. He even wrapped it himself on the deep cover joint. Welcome to, v welcome to, 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 to Vietnam, California. You're like, what? Vietnam, California, I ain't trying to go there. But yeah, with DJ Quick, his music resonates to where you get a cookout party vibe. You could put on rhythmalism and get that whole ordeal and think, man, this is the West Coast. This is where we got to be at. So if these two was the battle, who would y'all roll with? Would y'all pick Dre or would y'all pick DJ Quick? Let me know. This is King Eric the Great signing out. Be sure to check out the interview tonight with my man City Boy, the CEO of Black Soprano Family. It's going down in a major way. Subscribe and hit the like button. Let me know who you guys rock with. Holla back.